I craved mum's bun gun for years after she became a vegetarian. But today I'll be showing you how much love and effort she put into her food so you can see why I miss it. Mama ye sekfan, mami dadi sekfan, ba me ankum. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and here at Walking Kin, I share my childhood recipes so you can reconnect with yours. Today, we're not just in it for the flavor, but we're also here for the warmth of knowing how many hours went into making this noodle soup. To start, you'll need to make a chicken and pork stock. We let our simmer over a low to medium heat for at least three hours. You can find Mama's stock recipe in the description box below. For our family's bunkan stock, we like to season it with dried shrimp. When it comes to toppings, you can choose what you like, but I grew up eating it with chicken drumsticks and duck giblets. We also like to add blood jelly, which we get from the butcher. This version of bungan is typically made using pork hocks, so you can add those to cook into the stock if you like it too. For the noodles, you'll need bungan, which is a chewy tapioca noodle. We get them cooked and packaged from Vietnamese grocers. For the garnish, you'll need coriander and a spring onion. A full list of these ingredients can be found at walkingkin.com where we also share step-by-step -step instructions so you can cook this recipe at your own pace. To prepare the stock, we like to season it with half a cup of dried shrimp, one teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. I grew up with shredded chicken drumsticks in my run gun, so to ensure that the meat's silky, bring the heat up to high and put them in after your stock has cooked for 3 hours. Let them cook for 20 to 25 minutes or until just cooked. Meanwhile, prepare a large ice bath for the drumsticks. This will slow down the cooking process so they don't get tough. Transfer the drumsticks into the ice water for a few minutes, drain, then pat them dry and refrigerate to keep the meat firm. Season the broth with 5 tablespoons of fish sauce and 50 grams of rock sugar. You'll need to cook the blood jelly in a separate small pot. Fill it up with enough water to submerge all the blood jelly and season with 1 teaspoon of salt. Cut along the container of blood jelly to separate it from the box. Then cut it into rectangular prisms. Pour them into the water, then gently stir them so they don't stick to the pot's base. As soon as the water starts to thicken and boil, turn off the heat and put the lid on to slowly cook for one hour. Once the hour is up, pour the water out of the pot and rinse the blood jelly until the water runs clear. Cut the blood jelly using quick slices and put them into the stock. Because I knew that mum would spend all day making her bun gun, it was magic when I tasted the day's labour of love. To prepare the duck giblets, use a small knife to pull off any loose parts. Give them a rinse, then put them straight into the stock to cook for 45 minutes or until just cooked. Scoop them out to cool. Once cooled, thinly slice them to use as a topping. At this point, the chicken will be cool, so take them out of the fridge and shred into smaller pieces. To cook the bun gun, fill a pot up with water. Once it boils, put the noodles in and gently separate the strands with chopsticks. Then pour it into a colander and run it under cold water to stop the cooking process. Prepare the garnish by finely chopping the coriander and doing the same for the spring onion. To assemble a bowl, put the noodles in a large bowl, then top it with a chicken, giblet and pork. Pour the soup in along with the blood jelly and garnish with the greens. Add a dash of pepper and squeeze some lemon or lime juice to finish. The most satisfying part about making this weekend favourite is that feeling when the food tastes just like how I remember. After years of craving, I'm finally able to satisfy it. Except this time, the labour of love was passed on by me. And there you have it, mum's bun gun, a noodle soup that is worth every hour in the kitchen. I grew up watching my mum and mum bring noodle soups to life on Saturdays, so it's incredibly rewarding to be able to put the same amount of dedication into the food that I make as an adult. If you want to try this authentic recipe, here are our tips for the best results. Number 1. Season early on. This will give the flavours more time to develop in the stock. Number 2. Simmer the stock. Boiling will cause it to get murky. Number 3. Skim the scum. Doing so will help to keep the soup clean. Mum's bun gun might take the better half of the day to cook, but that effort makes every mouthful worthwhile and all the more delicious. To find family recipes that are a labour of love, like and subscribe to our channel for more. Now if you want to enjoy another Vietnamese meal, I've created a rice paper roll playlist perfect for your Sunday. See you in the next video.